love YouTube. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I am Shanika Lawrence and I'm coming to you with another video today. Jesus is the only way. Now, when I say Jesus is the only way, I'm not just saying that he's a way. I mean that Jesus is the only way. He's the only way to success. He's the only way to life. He's the only way to eternal life. He's the only way to true happiness and joy. Many people will have you to believe that you can get that from material things and that people in this earth can give you exactly what Christ has died for you to have, but it is just not true. He's not the only way because we say he's the only way or because the Bible has said he's the only way, but Jesus literally is the only way for us to be free. What do I mean? There was a great illustration given by Frank Turek, Christian apologist, that explained this in a very good example that I like to share. He said, for example, let's say that I, Shanika, was driving down the street one day and I was driving drunk and I got pulled over by a police officer and there was swift judgment in that county that I was in. So immediately they pulled me out and took me to a courtroom. When I got to the courtroom, it was my actual natural father sitting in the judge's seat. And he said, hey Shanika, and I'm like, hey dad. He said to me, how do you plead? And I said, well, I plead guilty. They did the breathalyzer test. They can tell that I've been driving and drinking, so I'm guilty. The question then is, you know, would my father be a just father or a just judge if he did not give me punishment because I was driving drunk, correct? The answer is no, he would not be just if he just let me go free, but he would only be just if he excited punishment on me. So let's say now that they're saying that because you are guilty, you now have to pay $5,000 or you'll have to go sit in a jail. And I said, well, I don't have $5,000. So my dad got off of the bench, he got off of the judge's seat, came down to where I was, put his hand in his pocket, pulled out $5,000 and said, here, you can take it. Now, the only way for me to be free would be to take that $5,000. If I don't take that $5,000, then off to jail I go. And that is exactly what God does to us. He actually came down to the earth in the form of a man who died on the cross for our sins. And the only way for us to be free is to receive the gift that he gave us freely because we deserve the punishment. We deserve the death because that was what we put ourselves in that position to get. And so we should have received punishment. But instead of doing that, he gave his only begotten son for us to receive as a gift so that we would not have to go the other route and be in jail and be locked up into eternal damnation. This is what he's given to us. So Jesus is the only way, not because we say so, but because he is literally the only way. We have been given an abundant life. We, we have a father who owns all the wealth. And so he's made it possible for us to get wealth. As a matter of fact, he gives us the power to get wealth. It is God who gives us the power to get wealth. So if we try in our own strength to get wealth, if we try in our own strength to get any kind of recognition, then we're doing it all the wrong way. The Bible says in John 15 and five, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same will bring forth much fruit. And that fruit is going to last forever. We want fruit that lasts. Everything that we try to do in our own strength is only temporary. But when we do everything inside and because of and within the strength of the Lord, then we can do all things. Without God, there is nothing that is possible. But with God, all things are possible. So because of his power, because of his goodness, we have been able to do all of the things that he has called us to do on the earth and to serve other people here on the earth. Jesus is the only way. And I just wanted to um, encourage you guys today just to remember to stay focused, you know, with that in mind, that it is not because of, of man. It is not because of our own ambitions. It is not because we have will powered it so very well ourselves in an eloquent way, but it is because we stay connected to the vine. See, I talked about recently having the strength spiritually to be able to do all the things that you um, need to do because a lot of times when you're mentally drained 
and you're just in a fog and you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, a lot of times it's because you are disconnected from the vine. So are you disconnected from the vine today? Do you need to get connected with the vine? See, if you need to get connected with the vine, the great thing is, you don't have to go out of your house and go drive down the street and go try to find this vine. You can stay right where you are. You can sit down, you can get on your knees, you can stay standing and you can call out to God and say, Lord God, I wanna be connected to you. God, I want you to fill me up with your strength and with your power and with all of who you are, God, so that I can grow in connection to you. He said, he that abides in me and I in him, he shall ask anything and it shall come to pass. So it is only because of our connection to the vine. I cannot stress that enough, that Jesus is the only way. He is the only way. I know a lot of times we're doing so much throughout our day. We're doing so much that we just forget to stop for a moment and say, Lord, thank you. Lord God, I bless you. Lord God, I worship you. God, I give you glory. God, I give you honor. I will say that this is all for you. I say that this is all because of you. God, I am here because of you and no other reason, Lord. It is because of his goodness. It is because of his truth that we are able to live, move, and have our being. I realize that there are a lot of people that are overwhelmed and full of anxiety, but the Bible says that if you are anxious, all you have to do is go to God relinquish all of the heavy burdens that are on you and give them to Christ. He said, I'll carry your burdens for you. I'll make it easier for you, but you gotta bring it to me. You can't carry it all yourself. You can't try to do it all yourself. You gotta allow God to do the heavy lifting in your life. No longer should you have fear. No longer should you be afraid. No longer should you have doubt or worry in what he placed inside of you and who he called you to be because he died for you, just for you, so that you might be free, that you would have life and life more abundantly. So live your life abundantly today, family. And remember that Christ is the only way. If you wanna get out of your depression, if you wanna get out of your mental fog, if you wanna get out of these bad relationships, then remember that Jesus is the only way if you need new ideas if you need creativity the creator the master creator who created all things he can give you exactly what you need he can give you exactly what you're asking for if you need more wisdom the bible says that he'll give and not upbraid it he will not take it back he will not be slack in giving you more wisdom but just ask and you shall receive. And remember that you have the power inside of you. It's just like when he gave the disciples the power to cast out demons. It would be a waste for the disciples to say, well, he gave us the power, but I'm gonna let my, uh, my friend do it, or I'm gonna go let uh, somebody down the street come and try to cast these demons out. No, he gave you the power. So you have to recognize where you stand. You have to recognize that when you live from a place of abundance, you're recognizing that Jesus has made a way for you. Jesus has died for you, that he's called you to be all that he's designed for you to be. And when you know that, it makes a difference. You can live life from a place of abundance. I had this thought recently, wow, you know, how, how amazing is it when you think about um, someone like Tyler Perry, who was homeless and he lived in his car and he was on the streets, but because of a belief that he had inside of him, you know, it fueled him. He lived from a place of abundance, even when it didn't look like it. A lot of times we have a lot more than someone living on the streets, but because we can't live from a place of abundance, we think that we're supposed to get handouts or that somebody's supposed to do it for us or that you know it's not gonna get any better. But even someone like Tyler Perry, who is now a, a multi-billionaire, he had an abundance mindset even then. He knew that what he had was valuable. He knew that who he was was um, greater than what his circumstances said. He knew that his future had much more in store than what had already come to pass. And when you keep that in mind, family, you can begin to act in the ways that God has created for you to act. You can begin to act on the things that God has placed inside of you. But remember that Jesus is the only way. Remember that being connected to the vine, that is the only way that you're going to be able to do it. That is the only way that you can become truly successful. That is the way that you're going to truly change the world around you by staying connected to the vine. See, the disciples stay connected to the vine and that's why they were always able to do the things that God placed inside of them and gave them the power to do. So you have the power to do it all, my friends. Do it all, give it your best. We only have what they say, one life to live, but live it 
unto God. The Bible says, do all things heartily as unto the Lord, not unto man, but unto God, who is the one who can truly reward you. Man, they can give you these little rewards here and there, but they don't last, they're temporary. God is the one who gives us the everlasting reward of life. He is the only way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.